it is freaking cold in here. Ugh. Hi, I'm back. It's me, Christine. Yep, today we're gonna talk about tips while you are taking the pantothenic acid. I'm not gonna give you a skin update or my skin update. It's because there's no difference from my previous video. So there's really no point of me updating you guys about my skin. Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna talk about the uh, tips while taking pantothenic acid. Tip number one, all right? And before I start, um, the tips that I'm going to give, these are just temporary, just for you to be able to see if the pantothenic acid is really working or if it worked. So tip number one, don't change your diet, okay? Don't change your diet for now or while you're taking the pantothenic acid. And I'm going to explain it later why. Tip number two, if you're already taking supplements and you are kind of like tempted to add another supplement, you know, or a couple of supplements or, you're, or the other way around, you, you want to cut back, right? Refrain from doing that for, for, for now. Tip number three, um, changing your routine. And when I say routine, it's your, like, let's say your sleeping habit. If you are, um, if you're usually sleeping at around 12 midnight and you're already aware that sleeping late or lack of sleep um, causes acne or doesn't help acne or aggravates acne all those negative stuff and you are tempted to sleep earlier to improve your skin don't do that for now when you are taking the pantothenic acid all right so I'm gonna explain those three tips why I am asking you to well not really asking it's really up to you <laughs> You know, it's your life <laughs> and I'm not a doctor and I'm not gonna tell you to don't do this. Don't do that these are just um, tips uh, So um, Why I wanted to hold off um, Changing anything about you know your routine your lifestyle, whatever you whatever you're um, taking your eating or drinking everything while you're taking pantothenic acid because how are you going to be able to know if it's working or if it worked or if it worked if you're going to start adding stuff removing stuff you get what i mean you're going to be out of the loop you're going to be confused you're going to be like let's say you're just planning to take this for a month and then the month ended and then you'll just you'll be sitting there and you'll be like um i actually don't know what helped my skin or I actually don't know what um, worsened my skin because I'm, uh, I did change my diet um, I added a couple of supplements or I cut back on my previous supplements or I started sleeping early or I started sleeping late you get what I mean so it's better if you just maintain whatever you're doing right now okay don't change anything and just take the pantothenic acid so when the time comes that you're done taking it if, if say you just you just set it to okay i'm just going to take it for a month or two months whatever you know then you'll be able to, to say and you'll be able to um weed out or observe it well i guess you know based on your standard routine like hey i've been doing this routine anyway from the beginning even even before i take i took the pantothenic acid you know so nothing has changed i didn't, didn't i didn't change my diet didn't go to sleep early or i did not uh, um, take any supplements on top of the other supplements that, that i've already been taking so maybe it's not working or maybe it, it worked so that's it 
um, that's it. Basically, just go with your standard routine so you'll know if it's working, right? Um, I know it's hard sometimes, especially when we are in that situation we're in. Uh, we want to try everything to see if it works, you know? One at a time. That, that's better. Because you... Um, you know, I believe in you can always um, put more rather than removing it. You, you get what I mean? Let's say um, you added more supplements, you, you started taking more supplements and, you know, not you, people will not have the same reaction um, taking supplements and all. So you're going to be confused you're gonna be really confused if you don't just go with your standard routine you know so um you will not know if or you will not know which one caused this thing this particular thing that the, the or or let's say worsened your acne you're not going to be able to know which one really helped you know maybe it's not really this maybe it's another supplement that you are taking or you incorporated in your in your routine or your day-to-day -day habit I guess right so hold off for now okay um, oh it, tip number four even 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 your uh, what you call this your um, skincare routine I'm talking about how, how you uh, what you apply on your face how you wash it and all like that go with your standard um, skincare routine just go with that don't add any more topical stuff or don't remove, um, uh, what do you call this, skincare products that you've already been using. Just just go with it. Then you'll see if pantothenic acid is really working for you, right? Then after that, if pantothenic acid didn't really work, you were like, well, I didn't change anything, but didn't help, didn't worsen it. You know, pantothenic acid didn't worsen my acne, but didn't help as well then you can start weeding out, you know, or you can start, um, I mean, you can start weeding out from your routine, like, oh, maybe it's this facial wash, or maybe it's my sleep, you get, you get what I mean? Or you can now start another thing, you, you can now um, add an, or incorporate another supplement. Yeah, so basically just be, um, right, I think it's better now because I turned on all the lights. Anyway, so like what I said a while ago, um, people will not have the same body reaction um, when taking supplements. So it's better to add more than to remove something. Um, in other words, like when you're taking a supplement, you're taking all these different supplements to solve your acne problems, which I understand because I've been there right um you might have a, a bad reaction from a certain supplement so um it's gonna be once it's already in your system you kind of have to wait until it's out of your system you get what i mean so i think it's better to add more than to um take excessive amounts of supplements and you will have and and you'll never know if you'll have a bad reaction and then you're gonna be sitting there and thinking that oh 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 shoot <laughs> i should have i shouldn't have taken that much you know i could have just done it like gradually you get what i mean yeah so if you are really, how do you call this, like motivated to take the pantothenic acid, just go with this for now. Don't, don't add any more thing, any, any supplements or anything in your, in your lifestyle for, for now. Again, I'm gonna say for now, I'm not saying that don't change your diet forever or don't change your sleep, your, the, the time of your sleep forever. I'm just saying just for now. Just for, just for you to know if this is working. All right? So, 
that's it. Just just focus on this for now. If you really wanna know if it's working or not. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed um, those uh, tips. I know this video is short, and um, I know the background is messy because I'm about to make my dog's food. So I. I have actually have a cauliflower here. I steamed this. I'm not sure if you can see it well. I don't know how to do it. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to steam that and add it with uh, add some meat, like beef or chicken. That's their food with some other vegetables like um, like broccoli and other vegetables. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this video. And um, if you have any questions, let me know. Comment down below. Like this video and then subscribe. Right? Thank you for listening.